What's going on friends? Rich Discovery coming at you with another installment of Let's Get This Thing Cleaned Up. Try to get it back to life again. Uh, as you can see, I did part of it the other day in a video that I messed up. Um, this part's starting to get clean. This part still hasn't been touched. Same with down here. I did half of it there and not this half. Now this isn't going to be a full clean, like a thorough cleaning of it. I'm just trying to do the outside for now. Once I can get it open, then I can really get going on this thing. And you know, I want to take the glass out, take the paneling out clean everything properly but for now we're just trying to see what kind of results we would get if we were to clean it by just going over the outside stuff you can see the chrome coming out really nice uh, I still want to give that another go because it's not quite done yet but and again I want to take it out and do with the edges behind everything that I can't get right now but yeah I'm happy with the way it's coming out it's, it's not looking too bad at all uh, the glass pretty decent I still like I said got to get it out so I can clean the inside of it clean underneath the glass tray clean everything up in there once I get it open but it's uh Let's start doing this outside and see what we can get out of it. For the initial cleaning of it, I'm just hitting it with some glass cleaner. Sprayway glass cleaner is my favorite stuff. I use this forever in the automotive business. Um, <laughs> you could probably rebuild an engine with this stuff. It's awesome. But I want to get this cleaned up first and see how it looks. This stuff is virtually safe on everything. I love that stuff. One of the few products I'll recommend. I'm just trying to go lightly. There's a lot of dirt on it and grime. I don't want to, I know that dirt's going to be abrasive, so I don't want to like get dirt on the paper towel and then rub it into the rest of it. There we go. It's coming out nicely. Give you a good close up look once we get into it. I'm trying to do this glass as good as I could, but like I said, this has got to come off because it's dirty on the inside as well. But at least we'll get the surface film off of it. So I don't want to spray too much in here because I don't want it to. There is some old cigarette uh, labels in there. I don't know if they're paper or plastic, but I don't want to saturate them with the glass cleaner if it leaks down into here. So just going real light with it. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with the way this thing's coming out already. By no means ideal lighting conditions for this because it is getting a little dark out. The sun's starting to go down as I knock my stuff on the floor. But this stuff's doing all right. Just to, like I said, just to get the surface grime off. Or eventually, once we get it clean, clean, and open, and apart, I want to polish all of these parts. Give it a nice coat of wax. See what's left of it, you know. It's not going to be 100%, but let's look at this stuff. That is disgusting. Years and years of dirt and grime. Clean this little emblem here. Yeah. Definitely getting better. It's not going to be, like I said, 100%. You can tell this must be where people grab. This must be where the packs drop down, because it's all worn out right there unless that was the popular brand that's all worn clean this is not yeah little by little yeah and i want to work on that chrome a little bit too i want to give that another go around maybe even do this chrome piece all right let's see what we got with these knobs here definitely starting to look a lot better i'd like to get that sticker off it says uh sale to underage is illegal but i'm afraid if i do it's going to be really clean and not faded underneath that sticker and the rest of it's going to be you know, faded, so I don't know what we're going to do with that yet. But, yeah, little by little, like I, said, I still got to get that out and do it properly, clean behind it, clean both sides of the glass. You can see I did half of the levers here and half I haven't touched yet, so let's try the other half before we tackle that chrome again. It's getting a little tough to get into these small knobs. I think what I'll have to do is once I get it open and working, I can pull these out and clean them properly. Clean all the way up, you know, behind the hero's able to get behind them. Here I really can't. So we'll do as good as we can. Like I said, this is by no means gonna be the final project or product. This is just the start of the project. Can't wait to get this thing opened. Yeah, it's it's coming on all right though. Cool. Wipe that down. I want to redo this chrome one more time. It's coming out nice. There's still a little bit of rust and, and, and some pitting, but I don't know if you guys were able to see in the first pictures or remember, this was disgusting. There was no shine to it. It was all rusty. I got a lot of it off, and uh, I just did an old trick that we used to do years back. I don't know if anybody remembers the... I was doing some of the older car videos. I would never do this on a restoration, but just a car you're trying to shine up, get back on the road. A cheap, easy way to do it is with tinfoil. Now, I use WD-40, a lot of people use water. 
I like the WD-40 first because I feel that it kind of lubricates it a little bit. And then you just, it just cleaned all the rust right off. You just take your foil ball, and there is better ways to do it, but for just a quick, you know, trying to make it pop, get all the impurities out of it, this is what I do. And it's, it's not bad at all. There is still going to be a lot of pitting. Um, like I said, I, I'm not going to replace all this. I don't want to. I want to keep it as original as possible. You know, stuff's only original once. I could replace all this with new pieces, I'm sure. But to me, it's, you know, I'd rather leave the piece that's... Do that quick. I'd rather leave the old original stuff on here. It's like I said, stuff's only original once. I want the piece that's heard the conversations of decades past and seen the people walking through and the reflections of, of life going on in decades and generations that I never knew. That's why I like to keep this stuff. Try to get in the corner here. I'm trying to be really careful right here because that uh, there's like a sticker, a paper sticker back there, and I don't want to saturate it. It's got some little rust spots and some wrinkling, but again, it's original. I'd rather leave the original piece there rather than just replace it with some off dame cheap restoration piece that's, you know, never, never heard the stuff that these pieces have heard. Wait till you see this chrome when I'm done. We're going to give it a nice little coat of polish, and it's going to look gorgeous. This is just one of those old time tricks I learned from the older generations, hanging out in garages growing up, listening to stories and watching home do-it-yourself restoration stuff from the people that had to do it this way. You know, they didn't have reproduction panels back then and you couldn't buy the stuff you needed. You had to repair what you had and make what you needed. And it, it does a great job. It's by no way the best means or the best way, but it's, it's doing a good job. Now you can do chrome with a steel wool butt, and it's a very big butt. You've got to get extremely fine steel wool, because steel wool will scratch chrome. Uh, they have a, I think the thinnest one you can get is like a 0000. zero, zero, zero. You can do it with that. You just got to be careful with it, and it should be fine. I only do that in worst case scenarios where I got a bumper or something that's in horrendous condition. People don't want to replace it. We can buff it back with a, with a really fine thin wool, uh, steel wool. Sorry, I'm trying to like think and do this stuff while thinking of the words. But if you if you use a steel wool with any number behind it, especially a large number, you will most likely scratch the chrome. The thing with the foil is, the, the theory behind it is the metal of the aluminum foil or tin foil, aluminum foil, is thinner than a chrome, so it shouldn't scratch it, in theory. Once we get it cleaned up and buffed, we'll really see how it came out. And the reason it's pitted and rusted is because chrome is just a chrome-covered metal, chrome-covered steel. It's a chromium, I guess they call it. And the chrome has the chrome coating has little pores in it, and the moisture, even if you're not in the water, the moisture from the air will soak through the pores of the chrome coating. The metal underneath rust, and then the rust comes out of the pores in the chrome coating. At least I think that's how it works. I'm no uh, alloy metal scientist. I just like to save old stuff. Yeah, it's coming out real nice. Getting all that rust out of the cracks here. It's going to be gorgeous when it's done. Before we polish the top, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do with that little coin return area. You can see how bad that is. See how clean we can get it by using the same process. A little bit of juice on there. Oil. Let's see what it does. I'm trying to be very careful not to hit the painted surface right next to it. I don't want to scratch the paint. Not looking bad at all. Cleaned it right up. And I want to get it all apart, clean the inside of it, but just to see what we're working with, it's, the metal's coming out nice. Now we're kind of racing against the sunlight here, but I want to get all of this residue oil off of here and hit it with a quick coat of polish. I'm really happy with how nice this, uh, where you put the coins, how nice that came out. All that oil out of there. Seems to be good enough. I just got some cheap, cheap off-brand chrome polish because they didn't have the stuff I like. We're just going to put a little bit on there, let it sit, give it another coat, and then clean it. I bought the cheapest microfiber towels they had to wipe this off with so I can polish it off once the wax dries and uh, just throw them out. Alright, 
They said to let it sit about a minute. I let it sit about five or so, went in and did some laundry. Now we're just gonna wipe this first coat off. Throw this rag right out. And then we'll uh, we'll do it again, get a nice second coat on there. I just wanna, again, try to get some of that oily residue off that might still be in there. And just see what happens. Looks like it's cleaning up nicely. So I got the cheapest microfiber towels they had. They are uh, pro elite. They're not only professional, but they're elite. And they're going in the garbage as soon as I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out nicely. Uh, wait till we give this a good second coat and get a good look at it. All right, just finishing up the second coat here. Uh, I'm only doing the chrome with this. I'm being careful not to get it on the painted surfaces. Only because it's a bright metal polish. I don't know if it's got abrasives in there to get the oxidation off, you know, chrome with steel and, or chrome with steel, stainless steel, chrome and other stuff. So just in case, I'm going to use a regular wax for the rest of this stuff once I get it clean, probably once I get it apart. I might even just wax it a little to see how it'll look like the rest of this stuff. But again, this is by far not going to be the finished product. Just trying to, hey, again, see what we're working with, see what we got here. Happy so far. All right, let's see what we got. Let's get this second coat off with my professional elite top of the line garbage microfiber towels. <laughs> like I said, I got the cheapest ones they had because they're disposable to me. I'm going to throw these right out. I think there were six bucks for six or seven. I don't mind even know. Cheapest ones they had on the shelf. Oh, yeah, huh? I'll give you guys a definite close look at this once I get it all polished off. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Again, I know it's not the best lighting situation because the sun is going down. We're racing the uh, sunset here, but look at that shine, huh? Get you right in there. Oh, you can see my tripod and me. Again, it, it's still pitted. It's not going to be perfect. A little blurry, won't focus right. It's not going to be perfect, but I don't want a brand new perfect piece. I want the original piece on there. I can't wait to polish that up. Glass is starting to look a little better. I can't wait to get this thing open and do it right. Clean behind it, clean this glass front and back. But I mean, look at it. It's coming out much, much better than, than it was. Even got the uh, the coin slot shining nicely. That had a lot of dirt because, you know, a lot of oxidation and dirt on it because that's where, you know, people are touching all the time. And again, with that sticker, I want to leave it. You can see it's like some wrinkles in there. There's some rust. But behind that glass is the original sticker, and I want to leave the original one there rather than just buying a reproduction sticker for it. Still got to work with other stuff. We got some adhesive up there, some tape. We'll get all that off and get that whole thing polished up once we finally do get it open. But definitely happy with how it's coming out. Really impressed with this chrome. I don't keep looking at it, but look at it. That's coming out really, really nice. I'm happy to see that because there was no shine to that. Barely any reflection, dull as can be. I want to get this trim off once we get it open and get this stuff all polished up nicely. Uh, I might have to repaint it, but I'm going to try to get the, bring it back to that gold color right there. Hopefully we can get a lot of that dirt, grime, and oxy oxidation off of it. I'm not talking well today. Wow. Especially, I already showed it, but especially that thing. Look how good that thing came out. Yeah, look at that shine, huh? See the toys in the background? <laughs> that we're going to polish up a little bit better. But for now, it looks good. The whole thing, like I said, is going to come apart and get polished up better. But waiting on that key, and we'll see what happens. Now that we're over here, I got my microphone back. <laughs> Clip this thing on real quick and give you an outro. So anyways, hopefully you enjoy the way... I'm, yeah, I'm yelling like the mic's still over there. Hopefully you enjoy the way this is coming out. Again, this is just the beginning of it. Hopefully I'm in a picture. I don't even know where the, where the top of it is. I'll check it in editing. If not, you might not see my head. <laughs> or I'll redo it. Who knows? But the sun's coming down, so I can't redo it. Anyways, back to the mission at hand here. I can't, I, I, I gotta get this key. I found the key number online, the exact company key number. A gentleman has thousands of them. Gonna try to get that key to get it open properly. I think I mentioned in my last video that when I did the first video of it, a viewer had mentioned something about a lock impressionist tool. That'll open that up. Uh, that'll be our last resort if we have to, but I've decided I'm not gonna drill this lock out. I'm gonna leave the original lock there. Whether I can get the, the original key would be awesome. If not, we'll just open it with the tool, but we're going to leave that original lock in there, polish it up. But I can't wait to get this cabinet open, get some of these panels out, because like I can't clean behind the trim and stuff. I can't clean that trim too well. Hopefully we'll get it all apart. And oh, That's coming off there. 
slide that over, whoops, just like that. Hopefully we can get it all apart once we get it open, clean everything properly, put it back together, all polished up, all cleaned up. I'll probably, well, probably, I'll probably polish this case before I even open it, just to see how it looks, to see what, like I did with this, to see what we're working with. But I definitely wanna get this panel out, get this glass out, get this out, get the trim, I'll get the whole thing apart and just really buff everything down and clean it properly. Uh, I hear the trains in the background, I love that sound. That's my ADD kicking in, I think. I'm just talking about everything else. <laughs> I can't wait to get this thing open and done right. Uh, this is gonna be a, a, a fun, fun project to do, and I hope you guys enjoy the, the journey, the trip as we do it. Again, I can't wait to get this polished up. This came out really, really nice. I'm happy with it, the nice and clean. There's a couple scratches and marks, but you know, it's old. Things probably from the early 60s, so it's, it's seen some life. Again, with the sticker, I don't know what I should do with that. It's kind of faded, it's not original. If I take it off, I'm afraid there's gonna be a clean square behind it. And I, plus I don't want to damage the paint getting it off. So we'll, we'll figure that out. It might just stay for now. Uh, that's going to stay. It's original glass in there. That's going to be cleaned up. Probably try to get this emblem off. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to try to get that emblem off and clean it. Once I get it working, I want to get these knobs out, clean these knobs really nice, clean behind them. Hopefully that's in the picture too because I don't know where it's facing. But just really excited about this and hope you guys are as excited as me to see this thing come back to life. You know, it's just a, a weird piece, but... Uh, Definitely a piece of history uh, that's, that's seen a lot, heard a lot, and I said it before, I want to keep as much original parts on this as possible. I don't want to get reproduction stuff, even if it's not in perfect condition, because reproduction stuff is just that. It's reproduction. It wasn't here originally. You know, it's stuff's only original once, and this is still in that stage, and I want to leave it that way. So some of the rust and stuff, we'll just we'll deal with it. We'll, we'll polish it up as good as possible, and, and the pitting on this and this, we're just going to leave it because that's how it came, and that's how I want to keep it. So thanks for watching, friends. Get out, discover your world. You'll never know when you'll find a cool little vintage vending machine that someone's getting rid of and you can save it from going to the scrapyard or any other kind of cool antique vintage stuff that people are throwing out. People throw this stuff out all the time. Definitely wasn't something I was looking for, but definitely something I was going to let go to the scrapyard. But thanks for watching, friends.